Fight spark. Doris, take it away. Kevin, for that great stretch the Celtics just put together, they get the Sprite Spark Award. Things have picked up quite a bit in the last few minutes as it's been an impressive run they've got going, and it might just be what they need to take them all the way to victory lane. Doris, thanks. Uh, that run, Clark, really propelled them. Yeah, it sure did. I mean, it got their confidence up and gave them the kind of swagger you like to see in the team. Yeah, it gave them the edge for sure because look at the opponent. I mean, they are kind of down on themselves right now. The body language, not where it needs to be. So the Grizzlies five right now. Mayo at the two with Gay at the three. Randolph and Gasol together inside. And it's Arenas in at the point guard. They only had one mistake prior to halftime, but he's starting to get a little sloppy there offensively. Now here's Bradley. A 10-footer. Bass can't get it to go. The Grizzlies trail by 13. Gasol up top. He feeds it to Randolph. Pass on him from the post. And here's Bradley. Open look. That's good. Bradley's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Celtics. Allen against Mayo, and Allen picks him up defensively. 13 feet out. Excellent D there from Allen. It's like there's a lid on the rim right now, guys. He just can't make a thing. And he's got to be terribly frustrated. I mean, Steve, you're a great shooter, but you've got to find a way to work out of it, and I think he will. Inside, and it's Boston with another. He's put on an offensive clinic. They've got to deny him the ball. And if that fails, then double him, Steve. I mean, they can't allow him to continue to hurt him like this. Arenas kicks to Mayo. From deep. And another miss by Memphis. They're really hurting with his performance here. He just hasn't played up to his standards so far. And that one's good from Petrus. Showing no mercy. They are getting after them at both ends of the floor. Continuing to add to the lead as the minutes tick away. Arenas with it. He kicks to Randolph. Back to Arenas. Here's Gasol. And he lays it straight in. Right now, they're just pillow-like inside. Way too soft. Too many looks at and around the hoop. Yep, totally agree, Clark. Ten of the last 12 points now that they surrendered have come inside that lane area. Bradley against Arenas. It's blocked. The Grizzlies trail by 17. Right side, Mayo. That's good, and Arenas with the assist. That's the way to do it. Really nice ball movement there. Here's Bradley. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. I think Coach saw a couple of things he wanted to correct. You've got to make sure everyone's following the game plan. Let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Doc Rivers address his team. He sounded incredibly confident given the situation they're in. He said, all right, I hope they're not counting us out yet because we are going to win this game. Guys, we'll see if his players believe him. Thanks, Doris. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for game. Allen comes in for O.J. Mayo. 
And it's Conley in for Gilbert Arenas. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew Konjak down the shot. You know, looking back now to the 1998 draft, I'm sure there are some teams that picked ahead of Boston in that 10th spot that would like to do that one over and maybe take Paul Pierce because uh, he slid down that draft a little further than people expected. And he's become an absolute superstar for the Boston Celtics. Thinking back to Paul Pierce's draft out of Kansas, even at that time, it was somewhat, somewhat surprising to see him drop like that in the rotation. It really was. I can remember thinking about Paul Pierce and how I thought he was the one guy in that draft who really had a ready-made NBA position mm -hmm. in game. And to see him slide, that's why the draft is more art than science. But at the end of the day, you know what? It's all about what happens when you get to the NBA, and he's proven to be a Hall of Famer. And historically, one of the great Celtic scorers of all time. Without question. And here's Rondo. And they double up Rondo. Pierce, inside the three-point line, goes back up. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Randolph's got six rebounds now in the game. Gasol up top, guarded by Garnett. Gasol dishes to Randolph. Kicks it out to Allen. He dishes it to Pondexter. Gasol a screen on Rondo. Here's Conley. Here's Pondexter. That's tipped. Stolen by Petrus. You know, guys, you look at it, one turnover in the game, sometimes that can get overlooked. But I think it shows how well he's playing. I mean, he's really making the most of every possession. Here's Pierce. Here's the feed to Bass. Banked in off the glass. And the Celtics lead by 15. You know, nice work getting inside that time. I mean, that's the spot where his height advantage is really going to pay off for him, and he used it. Randolph, a screen on Ronda. Conley, the pass to Randolph. Covered by Petrus. Randolph kicks to Conley. Back to Randolph. Allen outside. Goes up. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Nice time to use that foul to stop the layup. You know, if you can save just one point, that foul was the right move. Free throw good from Allen. Spates checked in for the Grizzlies. Arthur comes in for Zach Randolph. He's perfect from the line this time. You know, even though they're down, they're putting on a show at the free throw line this half. I think they've done a good job of making the most of their chances at the line, and they've got to keep it up to take the lead. Pierce with the screen on Conley. Conley against Rondo. Pass. From 18 feet away, and there are the Celtics with another basket. Here is Conley. Now a timeout called by Memphis.
making some changes here for the Celtics. Jermaine O'Neal checked in for Garnett. Allen comes in for Michael Petras. And it's Avery Bradley in for Paul Pierce. Here's Allen. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Rondo. Come on, he's got to know better than to try to force that pass down low. Can't hit the step back jump shot. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Conley kicks to Spates. Rebounded by the Celtics. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Now here's Rondo. He passes it to Bass. Here's Allen. The shot is off. Good work defensively by Conley. Memphis with the ball. Down by 15. Takes it right up. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. You know, they're just getting hammered inside and really need to find a way to be tougher down there. They got to be physical. They got a man up in there. I agree. I mean, you look at the points they're giving up. Most of them seem to be coming inside the paint. Kevin Garnett has checked in for Boston. Pierce comes in for Avery Bradley. Memphis also making some changes. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Spates. Gay comes in for Quincy Pondexter. And it's Mayo in for Tony Allen. Garnett against Gasol. Garnett dishes to Pierce. Dishes to Bass. An easy two points on the layup. Right on the money with that assist, guys. Great entry pass. The Grizzlies trail by 14. Gay right side. Pierce covering. Here's Conley. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They lead by 14. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. has checked in for Memphis. You know, Brandon Bass, Kevin, not really a household name, but he's a nice young power forward. Consistent, steady, plays well at both ends, and even though undersized, he gets it done inside. No good there. He's unable to convert on the three-point play. And Brandon Bass, for a power forward, Steve, has a nice face-up game. Well, that's the strength of his game, uh, guys. You know, the way he can knock down that mid-range jump shot, uh, he'll... he'll turn and catch and face get you in that triple threat position and then rise up and knock down that jump shot Celtics leading by 14 pass to Rondo outside Pierce he gathers Conley grabs the miss Conley's got three rebounds now in this one easy shot Again, Memphis. Sometimes folks forget about his decent mid-range jumper. He can knock those down all game given a chance. Here's Allen. Outside Rondo. Conley picks him up. Pierce against Gay. Back to Rondo. Pierce against Gay. He goes up. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. That's good from Pierce.
so he gets them both. Here is Conley. Timeout called, the Grizzlies. Here's Gasol. He's against Garnett. Outside, Randolph. Here's Conley. Randolph. Conley working against Rondo. Tipped. Turnover starting to become a factor here, guys. They've got to reverse that trend. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. That lead pass allowed him to get straight to the hoop without losing any momentum. Back to Randolph. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Well, how about the leadership that Zach Randolph showed in the playoffs last season? I thought he really picked it up, not only in his production, but... It was clear when you watched him interact with his teammates that he was a guy that they were looking to for leadership. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. Free throw good, Randolph. Back to Randolph again, Clark. 22 points, almost 11 rebounds in the Grizzlies' two playoff series a season ago. Stevie really became a part of the entire NBA postseason story with what he and his team did. Yeah, big time, Kevin. I mean, especially in that first round going up against Tim Duncan uh, and, and San Antonio, that upset was due in large part to the play of Randolph. So, I mean, he is a legitimate star. He's a force to be reckoned with down on the block. Now, here's Bradley. Dishes it to Doolin. Dishes it to Petrus. Here's Dueling, covered by Conley. There's the screen. Dueling dishes to Bradley. Here's Hollins. Pinterest dishes to Bradley. Dishes it to Doolin. Dishes to Petrus. Dishes to Doolin. Covered by Conley. Dueling dishes to Hollins. Dishes it to Doolin. Conley picks him up. Here's Dueling. Off the mark. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least...
Here is your Jordan player of the game, Paul Pierce.